ask when you all just started talking about improvements, facilities wise, you're trying to get some a lot of other things and all going first and then move on to our facilities. Just talk about redoing the program when you once you took over the AD and then athletically, student athletic wise, and then go, uh, improve on facilities. Well, when I took over the program in 2001, i never forget it. It was September, actually August 2001. September 11th happened two weeks after I got on the job. Uh, there were a lot of challenges, you know. We were coming off of the football 0-85 uh, losing streak. I think we had maybe won four or five games. When I took over the program, we were at minimal scholarships and all of the programs, including football, which we had 11.5 or something like that. So part of the initial process was to upgrade the overall athletic competitiveness of the, of the teams. That meant we had to go out and fundraise and try to raise additional resources. Once we were able to accomplish that, it was you know time to focus on facilities. To be able to get a football stadium is a huge undertaking, and I think from what you've seen here, you know, with the Texas A&M system, it, it took a lot of individuals. Roy Perry, uh, one of the uh, key boosters here, working with a whole lot of individuals to get it done. So, you know, we started the conversation 12 years ago. It's just you know gratifying to be able to see something that you had a small hand in and turn out to be such a grand event. Now to see the fruition of all of this this season, finally opening up, you all are you and I at Texas Southern. That's the team, Labor Day Classic. It'll be opening up here on the campus of Prairie View A&M. Without getting into the Wednesday luncheon information, let's just talk about where you, know, where you are right now just being excited about it. Where there is no other school that should open up this stadium other than Texas Southern University. I think when you look around, we're so intertwined, I uh, have so much commonality among both institutions that it's only fitting. Uh, Texas Southern in Prairie View plays a significant role in athletics, not only in the state of Texas, but more specifically in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. All eyes of the conference will be at Prairie View Sunday, September 5th at 5 o'clock. And again, it's just fitting, I think, for Texas Southern to be the school to open it up. You know, there are a lot of things that could happen, but the fact that this stadium is opening on Prairie View's home uh, for a Labor Day Classic, you could say it was uh, coincidence, but I think it was probably plan, but I'm just honored to be a part of it. And, that, and you also have a national pre a, a presentation to put to spread everybody's brand out, not just under the swag, but take yourself in prayer of you. And historical black colleges, just the atmosphere on Sunday is, is a lot to be expected, but hopefully everything goes well. Well, this is the FCS uh, football game that people are going to want to see on that first date. You have Purview, which is predicted uh, to win the West and be one of the front runners for the Southwest Athletic Conference Championship. And then you have Texas Southern restarting with one of the hottest football coaches at his time. When you start looking at Michael Haywood, uh, his name was ringing louder than Kevin Sumlin's name was at a particular time. He went through some issues, Texas Southern was able to land him. So there are a lot of individuals that are looking upon uh, Texas Southern. Notre Dame will play the University of Texas. All of the Notre Dame people are gonna stop here on their way uh, to Austin to see Coach Haywood. Charlie Weiss uh, being one of them. Mac Brown is a key supporter of uh, Coach Haywood. He coached with Nick Saban. So our program brings a lot to the table as well. So Coach Haywood's debut at Texas Southern, Coach Simmons' uh, journey to see whether or not he can get that SWAC championship brought back to Purview. It's a game that everybody wants to see. Is there, any, is there anything else you can think of that I had not asked Coach so far about what's going on on campus at Texas Southern? Because they mentioned about the championship. You all have, since you've been to AD, you all have won quite a few. Yeah, well, I won, I won uh, as many at Texas Southern that I probably would have ever imagined that could have been won. Uh, it's definitely a group effort. Uh, I can't take credit for those championships, but it's been 18 that has been won over the last eight years. Ten of those in the last two years. We won our first ever C.D. Henry Award uh, last year, but I think the thing that we're probably most proud of is that we had the nation's lowest graduation rate eight years ago. 
Right now that rate is 56%. I, in three years it'll be at 78%. Our entire athletic department APR four year rate is a 963, which equates to about a 73% graduation rate. So above and beyond the championships, above and beyond the facility upgrades, I think to take the nation's lowest graduation rate, turn it into one of the state's best, is probably the thing that I'm most proud of. All right, All right Coach. Uh, call you Coach, but because you are, you are coaching the program, you're hey, moving it in, in the I, right direction. I've been called a lot of things, so I accept <laughs> Coach as a compliment. All right, thank you. Coach. Thank you.